Hello, Helpful Programmer here, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about how to make simple clouds. Go and open up our project, and let's go and create another header file. Source files, add, new item, header file, and let's call it clouds. This will do everything about our clouds. First off, so we don't forget, let's go and include it in our main.cpp file. Let's go and copy the include and change the moving to clouds because that's the one we want to include. Let's write a comment. This is our clouds file. Going back to the clouds, let's make a new function void clouds. Open close parentheses, open close brace. In here, we want to put everything to deal with the cloud movement and see if it's there or not. Let's go and make a cloud first. Let's go to paint and make it a reasonable size 200 down and 300 across. And let's make this cloud blue a bit weird but let's just make it blue and let's go and save it in our project file let's call it clouds and save now let's go back to our cpp file let's load it up into the game so go to our load function and write the function db load image open parentheses and open speech marks and put the name of the file, so clouds.bmp close parentheses and do a comma now let's do the next one along in the load id, so 7 and close parentheses and do a semicolon in the comments all you have to do is just do cloud or you can do whatever you want but whichever makes it clearer for you now in the create we're not going to actually create it in here because we don't want to create it and that will be it. In the clouds function, let's go and put an if statement. This is going to see if the cloud exists or not. So db sprite collision between 7, our target, and the background, so 1. So if it goes off screen, it gets destroyed equal to 1 equal to, equal to false open close braces in here let's go and create the sprite db sprite and let's use the id of 7 and we want to make it look like it's coming off screen but we don't want it completely off screen otherwise it will get deleted straight away so we know that the width of the clouds is 300 pixels across so let's make it 290 negative 290 pixels the x coordinate so it appears just off screen and we want it to be at the top so we give it a y coordinate of 0 put a comma and let's use the image id of 7 because that's our cloud close the parentheses and do a semicolon now let's move it constantly so it doesn't need to be in any if statement and write db rotate sprite seven to ninety degrees because we want to move it sideways not up and down and put the next function in db move sprite seven at a velocity of let's say three just to see it quickly you can slow it down once you've made this and just do another db rotate sprite function and rotate it to the angle of zero so back to normal now let's go and run it and see what happens now let's go and call this function in our main.cpp file in our while loop after everything write clouds Open close parentheses and do a semicolon and let's say the function for clouds 
Now let's go and run it and see what happens. As you can see once we've compiled it, it's going a bit fast but the cloud does move from side to side. That big blue box. To slow it down all we have to do is change the velocity of the movement. So let's go and change the velocity. Go to clouds and let's set it to a velocity of 0 0.5. That should slow it down quite considerably. And now let's go and run it. As you can see now it slows it down a lot. So just keep tampering with it until you get to the right one you want to move it. Ah, I'm touching the clouds. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've learnt a lot. Bye.